During the 1990s, a group of Japanese physicists showed that if you put a long, thin tank of water inside a very strong magnet, the water itself is repelled by the magnet, the water level falls, and the two sides begin to separate, an effect they creatively referred to as the Moses effect. <laughs> now, Andre Geim and his colleagues at the High Magnetic Field Laboratory in the Netherlands were surprised by this result. They would have known that water can act like a magnet. In fact, all materials have this weak repulsion from magnets, known as diamagnetism. As the water approaches the magnet, the electrons spinning around the nucleus speed up their rotations, and it creates a force which pushes the water away. Only this force is tiny. Even these scientists, who spent all day, every day, working with some of the highest magnetic fields in the world, didn't believe that it would have an effect that you could see with your eyes. So instead of sitting down and calculating how big an effect they would expect, they went for the easier option. They went up to one of their really strong magnets with a jug of water, and they poured it inside. And some of the water stuck to the insides of the magnet, proving that this weak diamagnetic force can be sufficient to counteract gravity. But more than that, when they started fiddling with this water and, and playing with the strength of the magnetic field, they were even able to bring some of this water to levitate. A sphere of water floating in the air, not touching anything at all. Now, not only is this seriously cool, it's also <laughs> rather surprising. Most physicists would have told you that it's impossible. It this dates back to Samuel Earnshaw in the 19th century, who said he proved that no matter how hard you try, no arrangement of magnets will ever bring you stable levitation. You can put one above the other to counteract gravity, but just like trying to balance a pencil on its tip, it will fall to one side or the other. Diamagnetic levitation is able to get around this limitation because, in effect, it is not static. The electrons themselves are moving. So they went on to levitate some other materials, wood, strawberries, pizza. <laughs> but it was their image of the levitating frog floating around, looking rather confused, which went around the world, and indeed was the inspiration for my master's project, which was working on a magnet built specifically for levitation, to do studies at zero gravity that would otherwise need to be done in space. We have a saying in English which we use when we believe something could never happen. Yeah, and, and pigs might fly. But actually, they really could. You just need to find a magnet strong enough. Thank you. Thank you.